Christmas is around the corner. As you guys know, I've been sick, but that won't stop me from having a good Christmas. In fact, I plan to have the best Christmas ever. One of my favorite Christmas traditions is to watch Christmas movies while drinking hot chocolate. And because I love hot chocolate so much, I've decided to create a dedicated space, a hot chocolate bar, so that I can access it whenever I want. So I'm planning to make it fancy, design it to make it nice, make it feel Christmassy. And I'll be using my Cricut machine to do that. And I'm happy to announce that Cricut is a sponsor of today's video. So thanks to Cricut. We're in for a good one today. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to be using this corner to be my dedicated hot chocolate bar. It's not that big. It's not that small. I think it will work just perfectly. So I'm going to be using this Marble Lazy Susan as the base to assemble everything. Don't worry, it's gonna come together. I went ahead and I got these mason jars and I'm going to be using them to put the toppings and the stuff that you'd put in the hot chocolate, but it's gonna come together. I already went ahead and I washed them thoroughly because you know we need to wash everything before we use them. So I have a bunch of them and I think it's gonna work out perfectly, but I need to label them before I move any further because I need to know what goes in what so that when we're making the hot chocolate, we know exactly what to take up, what to use, and there's no confusion whatsoever. So we're gonna head over to Cricut's design space to get design in the labels. I'm now in Cricut Design Space, which is the dedicated software for the Cricut Designs. And I went ahead and I typed out all the words which are gonna become labels on the mason jars. As you can see, I have marshmallows, chocolate chips, wafers, sprinkles, etc. These are just a lot of the toppings and things that can be added to the hot chocolate. So I did this and I selected a font that I like. You are able to select whatever font you want in whatever size you want, but I went pretty simple, but with a nice sleek font. I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy Extra to cut out these designs and then we're gonna get them on to the mason jars. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna be using the Smart Vinyl and I'm thinking to use either black or white. I'm trying to decide, would black look better on the, on the mason jars or would white show better? I'm still thinking about it. But I'm also gonna be using transfer tape to get the vinyl onto the mason jar. It's pretty simple. I know it may sound a lot right now, but it's really easy. Just follow along. now and it has successfully cut all of the words that we're gonna be using but I know we still can't see it it looks blank but it's there I promise I can see it you know? so and so we just got this marshmallows I don't know if you can see this but this is marshmallows <laughs>
So this is Cricut Design Space, which is the application that you use to do all of your Cricut projects. And I'm gonna start a new project by clicking here. Now I have my design, so I'm gonna upload it. It's already there and I'm gonna go with this one that says just start and add it to the canvas. In this example, I'm using my own design, but you don't have to because Cricut Design Space has free designs that you can choose from. But for this project, I'm going with my design. And as you can see, it comes really big but because i'm using the cricut joy extra usually i believe it needs to be less than about 10 inches thereabout all right that's what has worked for me in the past and that's what i just keep using i try to keep it just below especially because i'm going to be doing it really big on the canvas so you size it to whatever you believe work for you and your design then I'm going to go over to make and then it shows you what it's going to look like on the canvas. Of course, I'm going to mirror it and I'm going to continue and make sure that I'm connected via Bluetooth to the Joy Extra. Now, because I'm using the smart iron on, I'm going to select this and it tells you to make sure mirror is turned on and iron on material is face shiny down. So we're going to do that. I'm going to leave it at default. And then once I load the material in the printer, then I'm going to hit go. So here's a Cricut Joy Extra machine. And I'm going to load the vinyl in with the shiny side face down. And I'm not using a mat because you don't have to with this machine. And you can see it already is feeding in to make sure that it's the right size. And then now that it's loaded in, I'm going to hit go on the computer screen and it should cut out the design exactly how I want it. So I'm about to hit go and then it's going to start cutting. Just like that, guys. Look at that. So that whole design that I just put in the computer, it is actually making the impression on the vinyl and it's cutting it out so that i can place it on the sweater i'm so excited and this is a heat transfer vinyl so we're gonna transfer it using heat and it's good for clothing bags pillows and things like that so it's pretty much done now so now i'm going to remove this all together i don't know if you're able to see the cuts but don't worry you'll see it in just a second so now i'm going to remove the excess vinyl that i don't need and i do have this tool And it should leave what was cut. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. This is my favorite. Just look at it. Isn't this so pretty? So now this is going on the sweater. So let's do that. Alrighty. So this is what we just cut. And I'm trying to put it on top of this sweater. Just like so. Before I even put the design on, I'm going to be using the easy press to preheat the sweater. Alright, so... I'm just gonna place it where I think is best for my design. And that's it. Then I'm gonna apply the easy press at 315 degrees Fahrenheit and 30 seconds on the heat. And down, press start. And I'm gonna apply some pressure. And that's 30 seconds. I'm actually gonna do it again and apply the pressure a little over to the right side. What I like about this is that it has multiple colors so like in front of it you're looking at it it kind of looks silver and then to the side it looks blue and then to the other side it looks pink <laughs> so this has like 
multiple different colors and i'm sure this will also look good on dark color clothes all right that's that so i'm just gonna let it cool off just a bit and then we're gonna begin to remove this film all right so now that it's cooled on a bit i'm gonna start to take this off Ooh, look at that. beautiful look at that look at that can you see it says just start okay don't wait around just start So here's the design. I know I have a lot of lights around me, so I'm not sure if you're seeing it clearly. Let's just make sure that you're seeing it. Just start. Yeah. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So excited. So I just want to say thanks to Cricut for sponsoring this video and for making this video possible and for allowing me to have a beautiful sweater. If you guys are interested, in getting something done just like this or it could be a bag it could be a purse it could be anything you know it could be mugs it could be stickers on a mug it could be there's just so much things that you can do definitely recommend the cricut joy extra for you the heat press machine and all the accessories that i used i link them in the description bar below so that you can get them for yourself thanks again to cricut and thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one